Have you ever been dishing out freedom and come up against a tripwire, mine, or other type of booby trap? Well, if you have and you've defeated it, you probably know what this is. Yeah. All right, guys, we picked this guy up when we were down in, uh, well, we were at Knob Creek last year at the Fall Machine Gun Shoot. It's a LGH launch grappling hook from uh, your M4, M16 pattern rifles works on AR-15s as well. And essentially what you're going to do with this is... These two guys here will be attached to some sort of a cable or string. And if you would come up against uh, enemy tripwire mines or any type of booby trap, something to that effect, you would shoot, fire a blank. You can fire one live round through this, but it will destroy it. But it will launch with a live round being fired through it. So, fun fact. Um, so using blanks, you would shoot this, it'll shoot about 100 meters. Which is about 109 yards, give or take. So as you can see here, it comes in a hard plastic case with a watertight seal going around it. Um, got your carry strap on it too. Um, this was manufactured by SAA International. Um... This particular one did not come with an owner's manual. I looked for one that did and couldn't find one. I really wanted to. Can't really find much about it online either. But um, we are going to test it this summer. I'm pretty excited to do that. i um, interested to see what kind of blanks I can find that'll get this bad boy to shoot out to about 100 yards. Um, it is considerably front heavy. I wonder if these fins will stabilize it going through the air or what's going to happen. I will, I'll shoot it with the string attached and without a string attached, see how that goes too. So stay tuned for that. Um, just out of curiosity, I'm going to weigh this thing and see how much the projectile itself actually weighs. Um, and judging by, it, it does look like it was fired, not with a live round, but with a blank. So somebody was testing it. Obviously it's pretty dirty. I'll clean it up then too. So someone did use this because the string is also missing that comes in the cases that I've seen online for sale. Um, yeah, let's grab the scale and see what this bad boy weighs in at. All right, we got the uh, trusty scale here. We are going to put our projectile on it and see how much we weigh. Try and get all our weight up on here. 15.9 ounces. So, I really, as far as projectiles being shot off the end of your M16 AR-15, I have no idea what that's even comparable to, guys. Uh, leave a comment if you have any experience with A, this, B, anything else that can be fired off of a uh, just this pattern rifle or just grenades in general. Um, I personally didn't serve, so... I don't have too much experience with this kind of stuff, but I love finding Milserp stuff similar to this and testing it. All right, to go back over it, the M855 ball round will actually shoot this projectile, the LGH, uh, about 100 yards, give or take. Now, there's two types of blanks, the M195 or the M200 blank. The, let's see here, and this is also at a 45 degree angle or elevation. The M195 blank will shoot it up to close to 100 yards, and the M200 will only do about uh, 25 meters, which is about 27 yards. Another use or application for this that I could see would be to shoot over an obstacle and use the string to pull a repelling line or something like a, a ladder up over an obstacle then to climb to the top or I don't know you really want to use it to repel down but to get up over an obstacle I could see you doing that with this and having the capability of shooting a hundred yards it really does seem like it's very versatile so say you were gonna pull a, a repelling line or ladder um, essentially you could shoot this thing about 327 feet. So that's pretty cool. Neat little fun fact about it. I can't imagine lugging one of these around, um, knowing that you're going to be up against some, something like a, a tripwire pulling it out. But I mean, it's 
it only takes seconds to take it out of the case. And essentially, I saw uh, pictures of another one where the spool was right here for the uh, the wire that you would use to pull the uh, the projectile back, the LGH, back towards you as you're trying to snag a uh, trip wire or something of that sort. So you would, I'm um, assuming, just, you know, have your case open, put this over the muzzle, which it just slips over the muzzle like so, and obviously goes back to the, the box, and you would fire either a blank or a live round. I mean, if, if your life was in danger, and I mean, you had access to more of these, it just, it makes sense instead of changing out, you know, whatever you have in the gun to a blank, it just makes sense, just fire it. If you know for sure that you're gonna hit what you're aiming at and snag it, set off the uh, the mine or whatever you gotta do and continue dishing out freedom. Guys, sorry I rambled on so much, I figured this was pretty cool, I just wanted to kind of show it off. We've had it for a while and now that we're finally uh, settled in the new office, I just figured it was time to show it off to you guys, hopefully you like it. Can't wait to rig something up to kind of do a video on this. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I'm definitely excited to test uh, both different types of blanks. I'm not going to shoot a live round in it. I wanna keep this, not gonna destroy it. But thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Um, definitely give me a thumbs up on this one if you liked it. If you didn't, oh well. Um, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for some more awesome stuff to come. Thanks for watching, guys.